business communications overseas are particularly vulnerable especially in countries that have demonstrated an ability to conduct technical surveillance and the intent to gain a competitive advantage for their nation's industries. Any travelers of interest to a foreign country can expect to be under surveillance and will likely be monitored even in their hotel room. What is rare, however, is to be able to confirm the surveillance. The following video clip was taken by a traveler who suspected the hotel staff was doing more than just cleaning and was able to capture their activity with a newly purchased nanny cam which recorded a Chinese technical team at work. Note, while it might be very interesting, travelers should not conduct ad hoc counter surveillance. It could compromise your business and personal safety and you could be arrested. <laughs> if you are traveling abroad on high visibility, professional or business matters, you should expect even greater scrutiny than this traveler experienced in a Chinese hotel room. In the scenario we are about to watch, an executive using what seems to be adequate security practices still falls victim to sophisticated technical exploitation. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Well, I tell you, business class keeps getting better each trip. Yeah, I managed to get some sleep, but, uh, well, I was also able to spend a couple hours finalizing our negotiating position with David on the way over. <sighs> Let's not do that on the cell phone. I'm online and the VPN is functioning, so I was able to print out the spreadsheet you sent. The final numbers, they look good. <laughs> yeah, I brought my printer, so I'm self-contained. Of course, I'll shred it as soon as I'm done. Okay. In this instance, Lori used what appeared to be adequate and appropriate security measures. The use of a virtual private network, a VPN, a dedicated printer, and multiple layer password protection normally would have been sufficient. However, Lori received a complimentary room upgrade, which positioned her in a suite with special business amenities for travelers. The desk, conveniently outfitted for using her laptop provided an optimum field of view for a covertly installed steerable video camera capable of capturing login and password information. The shredder appeared to provide an additional layer of security but actually scanned and transmitted each document before it was destroyed. If at any point she were to leave her laptop unattended it would also be vulnerable to exploitation. Remember, however, when facing a sophisticated technical collection capability, the compromise of Lori's activities could have begun hours earlier during a conversation with her colleague before she drifted off to sleep in business class. In fact, open source reporting in the 1990s indicated that business class seats on Air France were being bugged. 
Lori should be complimented for her efforts. However, the capabilities of a sophisticated technical adversary require additional precautions. Be wary of that free room upgrade before an important business meeting. When using hotels or leased quarters, particularly abroad, assume the area is unsecure. All conversations, actions, and belongings should be safeguarded accordingly. When you are offered the use of office equipment or security devices, question the underlying motive. Assume that conversations on planes, trains, and in automobiles are subject to monitoring and recording. And finally, minimize the amount of sensitive data you take with you on every trip.